Hi, I'm Nikki from EducatingNow.com. Thank you for joining me while I show you how to play the game Strike It Out, which helps students to get flexible with their addition and subtraction facts. And this game can also be found for free on the site EnrichMaths.org. So this is a great game that I found on this website, which is free and has very many fantastic games and problems and riddles. I highly, highly recommend it. It's called enrichmath.maths.org. They spell maths with an S in the UK, and this is um, from the University of Cambridge. So I like to play this game in one of these dry erase pouches. You can see here, I've just inserted my piece of paper, and that way we can use the same piece of paper all year long, and we don't have to keep reproducing the paper. And you don't need to use their number lines. You could make up your own as well. So how this game works is one of the players starts and what they'll do is they can decide whether they want to add or subtract any two numbers that they choose and then they'll circle the answer and then the partner has to start with that answer. So we'll play and you can see how it works. So um, I'm going to start with uh, 19, so I'm going to cross off my 19, minus 1 equals 18. So that means my partner has to start with 18 and she cannot use 19 nor 1 because those have been uh, crossed off. So I'll do 18 take away 4 for my favorite number 14. All right and now I have to start with 14. So I'm going to choose 14 plus 6 equals 20. So notice that you can either add the numbers or subtract them. It doesn't matter. It's totally up to you. Well, I'm stuck with subtraction now. Yes. So we'll do 20 take away 7 makes 13. And notice that as we move along, you need to be really mindful because I can't just choose any number because many of them have been already taken. So for instance, I couldn't try 13 take away 9 because 4 has already been taken. So the, the answer isn't even has to be free. So the students have to do a lot of thinking to figure out which combinations of numbers they can use. So I'm going to go with 13 plus 3 equals 16. And eleven take away nine is two. And my partner has now won the game. And I know this because 12 take away 8 is 4, and 12 plus 8 is 20. So those are both taken. And the difference between 8 and 15 is 7, and that's taken. And the difference between those two are 2, and between 17 and 8 is 9. So all my numbers are taken. So my partner has won the game. So that's how you win, is when the, the person can't go. Now I will tell you that there is a strategy to this game. I've just remembered it now as I've played with my friend. Um, so students can play over and over again and see if they can figure out the strategy on how to win, their, to win their game. It doesn't matter who starts. I will tell you that a lot of students assume that the person who starts will always win and that is not the case. So students can practice over and over again and just like all the games that you can see from our website if you need visuals. This is a lovely visual with the number line already and some students might need to actually count those jumps to figure out the difference between two numbers or to add on and that's fine. That's partly why we play it on a number line because it gives them a visual model to play the game. 
So you can find this exact printout for free on the Enrich Math enrich.maths.org website or you can create your own number line and play a similar game.